Hi, it's Jonathan again here with O3Vets and right now we're going to take you through how to use your limb bag. And uh, so let's go ahead and talk just briefly about what you use it for. Uh, basically, the limb bag is used to treat any exterior conditions. So we're talking wounds in particular or ulcers or um, skin conditions possibly, uh, things of that nature. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at our kit and show you how to set that up. So let's, uh, let's open this up and get the contents out on the table here. And then we can begin to, to set it up. So um, I'll, I'll start with the, the main event here. We have the, the limb bag itself. And so let's go ahead and unfold that. Now we have different sizes um, and you'll notice that each size will have a drawstring that's to help just get it situated and sealed once we have it uh, on the limb. Um, you'll have an inlet uh, and an outlet on the bag. The inlet is made for the ozone to come in and the outlet is what you'll connect your destruct up to. What's a destruct? Well, that's what this is. This is what destroys unwanted ozone. So when we're done with it, um, it's got to go out here. We don't like to just release all that into the air uh, because breathing ozone can be hazard hazardous to your health if you breathe too much of it and it's uh, too high of a concentration. So that's what that's for. Um, we also have a couple check valves, or not check valves, but uh, on-off valves. Um, and those we're going to actually connect directly to our bag those will just assist us in the future and I'll show you when we get into the actual treatment um, what we do with those so there we go uh, what else do we have here we've got an ozone resistant highly ozone resistant silicone tube and this is actually used um, to connect to the generator we connect the generator to the bag and that's how we fill our bag with ozone um, we've just got two simple lure lock connections on either side of that. The next tube that we have here is actually the tube that's going to run from our bag to the destruct. So this tube will be connected to the destruct on one side and to the bag on the other side. We'll just go ahead and connect that up right now. We'll take our destruct, insert that onto the tube and we can actually connect that directly to our bag. There we go. And now our destruct is connected and ready to capture any of that unwanted ozone or get rid of the ozone once our procedure is done actually. This is just a, a, a footy. This is a paw protector to make sure that no no, you, our bags don't get punctured with a, a claw, um, so we recommend that if you're doing a paw that you go ahead and put one of these on first onto the animal, and we have different sizes of those uh, that we can send with your kit. Um, the next piece, and the last piece of, of this kit is these Velcro straps, and so these are used to seal the bag off once you have it um, on the location that you're going to treat. Yeah, so let's go ahead and, uh, and again, we do have different sizes of those as well. I just mentioned that. Let's go ahead and get going. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my silicone ozone resistant tube and I'm going to connect that directly to my hummingbird. Now, I would have had my hummingbird, if I'm going to be treating, warming up for a minute or two uh, before I start using it. And, and then I'm going to take the other end and I'm just going to connect it right here to. So we've connected that to the bag. Um, right here I will mention that we don't actually have to connect the destruct until we're ready to, uh, to end the treatment. And what we're going to do is we're going to just make sure that if we don't have our destruct connected, um, we're going to turn that valve off and make sure that that ozone isn't flowing out um, as we're treating. So just thought I'd mention that here. Um, so let's get our patient. Um, I'm the patient here today. Basically, I'm just going to show you what we would do. Um, we would go ahead and place the 
injured area into the bag and then use the drawstring just to kind of pull it, cinch it tight, t a little bit tighter there around the limb. And then you're, you'll go ahead and you'll connect the Velcro strap on that area and you'll, you'll seal it down pretty tight. You want it to get um, to a point where the ozone isn't going to be leaking out of there. You might still smell a little bit, but you want it pretty tight. And I also want to mention that if you're treating an area further up on the limb, you're going to have to cut this side of the bag so that you can slide that bag up. And then you'll just use the other Velcro strap to seal that end off as well. Um, if, if you're finding that you know, you're still getting a bit of ozone smell, you can use tape or something to uh, a wet cloth and wrap it around there and just try to seal it off a little better if you'd like to do that. Um, I wanted to show you too how we would, how we would go ahead and, and uh, cut that bag. Just simply take a scissors. If we're going to slide this further up the, the arm or the limb rather, and we'll go ahead and just cut the end of the bag off, right off. And so here we're able to, to go ahead and just slide it up. Um, you can even in some cases slide it onto the body. Uh, yeah, and so you, that's, that's it. And then you'll seal both ends of that prior to actually starting your treatment, obviously. Um, so, okay. So we've got our bag connected. We've got our, our limb there. We're going to go ahead and turn, have our generator warmed up. We're going to turn our oxygen on and then that will begin to flow into the bag and fill it and we'll begin our limb bag treatment. After the period of time is over for the treatment and you can reference the treatment guide for that, then we're going to go ahead and shut our generator off, shut our um, oxygen off for a second. Actually, at this point, I think the best method is actually to leave the oxygen running and we'll go ahead and connect our Destruct to the bag. We're not going to un unloosen the straps yet. We're going to leave those. We're going to connect our Destruct to the bag and then we're going to open the valve. Uh, so now that's still around the, the limb and we're going to leave our oxygen running, we're going to turn it up to about a liter per minute and just let that flow for 20 to 30 seconds. We're just trying to purge the bag of the residual ozone in there, get rid of that ozone. And ozone's heavier than air, so ideally um, the, the destruct would be at a downward angle from where the oxygen is flowing in. That'll help the ozone to be flushed out of the bag. Uh, so that's in a nutshell, the treatment process. Um, if you have any questions for us, j please do let us know. You can reuse the bag, um, and as long as it doesn't get punctured, uh, you should be good to go. Um, let us know if you have anything that uh, we can help you with.